Today we're gonna, our Sunday school lesson is about Anna the Persistent Tracker. Persistent Tracker, yes. And Jackson, do you know what persistent means? To keep trying and not give up. Yes, so when we talk about somebody being persistent, it, that means they keep trying. And I, I have to be persistent in doing dance. Yes, and learning your new, especially like your gymnastics, right? And your tumbling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Hannah was persistent because, so in the Bible, they described women who couldn't have babies as being barren, right? That meant for whatever reason, they couldn't have babies. And most of them wanted to have babies, right? I don't want babies. So, oh, okay. Well, um, so Hannah was persistent because she kept praying to God and asking for God to give her a baby, even though she knew that she hadn't gotten one so far, right? Mm -hmm. And you think, and sometimes it probably, it gets difficult to continue praying and asking for something and not getting your prayer answered, right? But, no. he, but he can't. It's not like he's going to just show up in front of you and say, okay, I'll do that. Well, God it, has a plan. And yeah, he has sometimes, a plan for you. Sometimes our plan is not the same as his plan. But Hannah continued to be persistent, persistent and pray for the baby, right? Yeah. Well, guess what? God eventually gave her... A baby. a baby because she was persistent and do you so in our um we she was persistent and when did she ask for the baby when she was doing what praying. yes yes so hannah knew to pray and she knew that god or to take her request to god and to not try to handle things on her own, right? Yep. All right. So Hannah also poured out her heart to God. When she spoke to him as a friend, she knew she could trust the Lord to hear her and to answer her, right? So prayer is like knocking on the door of God's heart. God loves um, for us to pray to him. Hannah never stopped praying to God. She prayed even when she was sad. And when he answered, she did not forget to thank him. She always prayed. And so should we pray without ceasing. This doesn't mean that we have to stay home all day on our knees and pray. But it does mean that throughout the day, we are aware of God and we have ongoing conversation with him. Right. So tell me this. Can you pray with your eyes open? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why can it be helpful to close our eyes when we pray? Jackson, why could it be helpful? So that you don't look at stuff around and think about not what you're praying about. Yes, so that we can concentrate on who? God. On God. Mm -hmm. And the prayer and not what was going on around us, right? But it, we still could pray with our eyes open if we wanted to. You can. But it's better to close your eyes. It's better to close your eyes to be able to concentrate. Can you think of a time when you wouldn't want to close your eyes if you were praying and talking to God? Like maybe if mommy was doing something like driving a car, do you think it would be good for me to close my eyes? Yeah. If I was praying while driving? Yeah. So sometimes it's okay. But it would um, be good before bed because it would also might make you fall asleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you close your eyes yes um so today we are going to um pray with our eyes open and we're going to follow a format that teaches us how to pray okay so we're going to think of the word acts all right we, we already know how to pray okay well we're this is another way okay so first, the first letter in the word acts is what? A. A. Yes. Yeah, so A means adoration. So first in our prayer, we should 
tell God how, what we think of him and how wonderful he is. So you can say, God, you are so what? Amazing. Amazing. All right. Or forgiving. Yeah. Or you're the best God. Okay. So you could say, God, you Powerful. are the best. Powerful. Yes. All right. So C in the word Acts would come next. And it stands for confession. That means that you tell God what you've done wrong and that you are sorry and you want to be made clean, right? So you'd say like, God, I have sinned by whatever you've done and I am truly sorry, okay? And then comes, what's the next letter? X. X, A-C-T-S. It's X. Um, it's T. Oh. So that means, that stands for Thanksgiving. This means to tell God that you are aware of the many blessings in your life and that you are grateful. So you would say, God, thank you for, and then whatever you're thankful for. I know. Thank, thankful for, um, wait, can it be, does it have to be about God? Watermelon. Well, Jackson said he was thankful for mercy, right? Thank, I'm thankful or you can think on it all right and the last letter is s and that stands for wait i know earth okay you're thankful for earth that stand the s stands for supplication this means to bring your request before god believing in his ability and willingness to answer so this is where you would ask for something of god all right so, Jackson, would you like to pray using this method for us? All right. That is the end of our lesson. And we're going to remember, what are the letters? A, C, T, S. And you can look at them right here if you need to remember. All right. And Jackson's going to pray. Okay. Well, we're going to let Jackson pray and then you can pray. All right. God, you are so powerful and great. And I am sorry for all, all our sins that we've made. And thank you for everyone in the world and, and everything you've ever done for us. And um, please help us all have a great day. Amen. All right, Riley, would you like to? All right. I'll read it. The first one is adoration. It means to tell God you are so, and whatever you want to say. So you repeat it. I think I just want to, um, you can do this. Come I on. I think I just want to do something else. All right, you can pray on yours. Go ahead. God, thank you for all the people that you have took from earth into heaven and thank you and thank you for all our family amen heavenly father we thank you for always listening and answering when we pray help us to learn to talk to you as our best friend help us to be patient and waiting for your perfect answers and your perfect timing we trust in you lord jesus amen amen bye guys Bye. Bye.